Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the independent film called The Family, brought to us by directors Joe Hollow and Wolfgang Meyer, and written by Joe Hollow. And we basically get the story of this kind of extended, very dysfunctional, deranged family, which makes snuff films for uh, a certain individual and for sale. And we see a kind of a day in the life of them and how things have escalated in their family and how things kind of take a crazy turn for the worst as the infighting increases and the sibling rivalries get more and more deadly. Uh, the family is a wild ride. Now, this star is pretty much every uh, independent uh, film actor that I, I've covered in a while in some other films. I mean, you've got Mark Hansen, Joe Hollow in here. They they uh, portray the two bo uh, brothers, Jacob and Jonathan. Now, Joe Hollow, we have saw in Mediatrix. You've also got Angie Savage in here. That name may be familiar to some. She's in here. Michael Berryman, Tony Todd, and Kane Hodder. Three legends in independent horror and just horror films in general, both big and small. They are making an appearance in this film. You got Shannon Lark, Larry Laverty, uh, who, uh, Larry Laverty, he, we saw him in Postmortem 2021, uh, uh, and Shannon Lark was in Mediatrix. I mean, just this whole list of great, talented people. Tom Ludwig from Ideas Rising's in here. Devon, uh, Devani Penn's in here. Uh, Denny Melody, who we actually saw in the short film Rose White, she's in here. So you've got a slew of very talented, independent artists in this film, and they all put in some great performances. Now, this independent film definitely has all the uh, kind of elements you expect from kind of an underground horror film. You got your, your nudity, you got your blood, you got your body count, okay? And some fun characters in here. Uh, a lot of different uh, individual characters that are definitely unique. They didn't seem cookie cutter. And pretty, everybody does great at playing the crazy in this in different ways, really well. So I, I loved all the performances by everybody in this film. And the location and the look of it uh, looked decent for a film of this budget. Uh, I like the production value of it. They got to shoot some of the scene in a jail, which was just a really great, creepy location so I enjoyed that as well. What I will say about this film is that it did feel a little bit was maybe left on the cutting room floor, okay? While I did follow the story and what was going on, there were pit parts in it where it seemed like maybe some things were missing, and I'm not sure, okay? Uh, it, it is definitely a wild ride, and as the film and story goes along, it, it congeals a little more, and things start to come together a lot better, but I will say, in, near the beginning of the film, it was a little bit tough to follow some of the things that were going on and put all the pieces together. Maybe it was because there were so many characters to keep track of. I'm not sure, uh, but that was about the only thing that I uh, that took me a little bit away from the film. Other than that, there's some fun performances, great things, and especially the scene they get with, uh, there's a certain scene in there with Tony Todd and Kane Hodder. Oh, just, it looked fantastic, which is also great in here. Some of the cine cinematography in here is really well done, and it's out on distribution right now, so I suggest you check out The Family, okay? While the storytelling itself may be a little bit jumbled in the beginning, it's great to see some great performances, some blood, boobs, and body count going on for an independent film of this nature, and it's great that they got distribution. So check it out if you're a fan of independent horror, if you've got a kind of an open mind and can handle the, uh, the graphicness from <laughs> this movie, and also look, they are making a sequel to this as well, so I'm looking very forward to that to see where they take these characters next because where they took them in this film was just one crazy wild ride that's going to mess with your mind a bit and make you go wow what exactly did we just see <laughs> so check out the family if you can should be on distribution uh i think they may have sold out in some locations but they should be getting some back in the holiday season otherwise if you have a family video near you they do carry it there Fa the family is just one of those interesting original types of stories we see from independent cinema. And I think if you're a fan of that and have a bit of an open mind, you'll enjoy it. So until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff.